Hey guys, it's me, um, Cosmic Stardust. Um, I just wanted to um, give you guys um, an update on um, the whole uh, cigar box project and um, what I'm planning to do going forward. Um, if you may recall, um, sometime around late um, late uh, 2000 and um, 16 I produced a run of uh, cigar boxes this is one of my nicer um, samples that uh, still hasn't sold yet you know for uh, people that were un dissatisfied with the um, quality of the um, back in the day uh, joysticks and wanted something a little nicer than what they had and so I got the idea to um, to use uh, real arcade parts and um, install them inside of the uh, cigar boxes. And some of these cigar boxes are really well made and I, I found a local shop that could supply uh, used cigar boxes for um, relatively cheap and um, it was just a really uh, quick uh, project and I thought hey I like these maybe some other people might like them and um, so I built a run of them and I've sold a few of them and some of them have just uh, been sitting in the boxes for um, six or seven months and um, I think that um, part of that uh, might have to do with the um, with the tobacco advertising um, I'm not a smoker I don't um, I don't pass judgment on uh, people who do but um, I understand that you know some people may not like the idea of having uh, tobacco advertising um, on their boxes and so as uh, time has moved on I picked up some um, relatively inexpensive um, unfinished uh, boxes here's one example uh, from Hobby Lobby this box right here is only um, eight dollars and uh, ninety nine cents and um, they're pretty nice um, and with the idea that um, I could you know use those as uh, future enclosures and so um, I had posted a previous video from one of my um, where I showed off one of my prototypes which was a um, Starplex um, controller in a cigar box and um, SRAM is uh, 2008 of Atari age was really uh, amazed at my um, controller and he wanted to me to create he wanted to ask me if it was for sale or if I could build him my own uh, Starplex controller and so um, we decided to use one of these um, unfinished uh, woodcraft boxes which I would then stain and finish and um, this is the result and I think it came out absolutely gorgeous uh, with the finish it's silky smooth and um, it still has the uh, cable it comes with the cable that you just plug into the back of it and um, uh, because the uh, bottom of the box was uh, recessed and the bumpers uh, weren't tall enough um, one thing I did was I bought some uh, I bought some hey Holly there's uh, my cat uh, photo bombing my video um, I took these uh, felt pads and I'm um, just basically stacked uh, piggybacked uh, two on top of each other to use for the uh, feet so that the wood doesn't uh, scrape against the surface but anyway um, this is just like above and beyond um, anything I've made uh, previously and I'm really <laughs> kinda jealous now that I don't get to keep it but it was a commission and it's gonna ship off this afternoon right after I finish making this video and um, I still have a lot of um, joysticks uh, left over from uh, the previous runs I thought I was gonna make more and I never did and so um, I was uh, wondering um, you Atari agers um, 
what you thought about me um, for a little bit extra uh, cost to um, get these boxes from the hobby store and then sand them, stain and finish them and really create you know to sell a professionally made joystick and I would have to charge a little bit more because of the um, because of the labor involved with the stain but these came out so nice and um, I really I, I think you know to me as a gamer I think it would be awesome to own one um, I'd love to get y'all's feedback um, tell me what you think uh, going forward with this um, uh, let me know in uh, comments and on the um, interest check thread uh, where I'll be posting this video shortly and um, if anybody wants some deals on the old uh, cigar boxes, um, they're on sale right now. Uh, free shipping until um, until uh, July the 4th, a weekend. And this includes Canada. And so, um, if you, uh, some of you Canadian people, friends uh, to the north, want a good deal, um, I'll hook you up. Hey, Holly. It's my little sweet butter ball. But um, anyway, I'm going to sign off. Um, I want you guys to, um, to um, tell me what you think. And um, like I said, um, going forward, this is more of a... Just wanted to... Come here, kitty. Get off of that. Holly... You're a mess, you know that. Alright guys, that about wraps it up. Later.